As far as I'm concerned, Islamophobia is a myth. We have people that are afraid because we've got underground Muslims who hate America that are extremists and want to kill us. That's a reality. Islamophobia is racist and it's unrealistic in the eyes of what's truthful in the reality of what's going on in America. We have people who are sitting in fear with good reason. I actually witnessed and have documentation of a case where I had um, somebody who was Muslim. He was from I, he was from another country. Had con he was driving me to my doctor's appointment, and he had two flags. He had a green one and then the ISIS flag, and he literally showed me the difference. Before he knew I was recording him, he was hollering how he hated Americans and how he wanted us all dead. The minute he knew I was recording him, he changed his tune completely. Those are the type of people that you need to watch out for. These are the people that will lie to your face, manipulate you, and say whatever they think will make you happy in order to get their purpose, their cause, their goals met. And that's the issue that we have. It's not Islamophobia. It's called a fear of terrorism. And we've got a group of people within the Muslim community who's underground about what they're doing with regards to um, hating Americans. And if you hate Americans so badly, why don't you just leave? I don't hate Muslims. I don't hate any other religion. I'm a Job's daughter chaplain. My purpose is to teach the word. It's to show people that we don't have to fear others because of their differences, especially where culture's concerned. These people they're talking about, oh, we have an epidemic of Islamophobia. It's not an epidemic of Islamophobia. That's a lie and it's a manipulation. We have an epidemic of people who realistically are afraid of a realistic threat of people who are underground within the Muslim communities in the United States who hate America and want to do what they can to destroy it. We've also got people who are publicly saying that they hate the American flag. Well, if the flag offends you, leave our country. Don't stay here. This is my country. I love my flag. I'm not going to allow you or anyone else to tell me what I am and am not allowed to love in my country. How dare you, especially with me being Native American? Are you kidding me? You're not even Native American. Your people aren't from here. So if you hate my country so bad, leave. Because, you know, we were here first. The Native Americans, we got dabs. If you are afraid of the Muslims, stay away from them. And if you're a Muslim, who knows that these guys are hating on America and they've immigrated and really shouldn't be here anyway, tell the police. That's what you're supposed to do. That's why we have the see something, say something campaign. Do you remember that? The see something, say something campaign? That didn't just spread to Muslims. That's for Catholics, Jews, Christians, Buddha, whatever religion you practice. There's people in all religions that are extremists, not just the Muslims. So sitting here focusing on the Muslim community is racist. We've got Christians who are out here who are persecuting people too. They're claiming to be Christians, but they're really not. They're false, false teachers false witnesses. The Bible talks about that too. If you're not preaching the word in peace, then you're bearing false witness. That's the real issue. It's not Islamophobia. It's people who are bearing false witness, who are trying to make you think that it's okay to act in violence because they feel like it. No violence is okay ever. And it's not okay to hate anything, especially where you live. If you don't like it in America, leave. God bless America. Have a blessed day. In fact, the badge.